If you found this channel, it's because you probably like football helmets. Well, you came to the right place. This is a very special double build, and this is going out to Romaine. Well, actually, it's going out to Romaine's kids. This is a really special story to this, so I would love for you to sit back, relax, enjoy as I put these two beautiful helmets together, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of a story about Gage and Mike and how they came about to being able to buy these helmets. This is a Youth Speed Flex. It has a Zooty Ball Hawk face mask. This quickly got into my top five favorite masks. I knew as soon as Zooty released it that I just, I loved it. This is a Riddell Speed Flex face mask. So it will fit youth and adult helmets. This one is Northern Lights. This one is Sapphire. We have black unbranded Under Armour visor clips. We did black Riddell Speed Flex face mask hardware, green gridiron front 3D bumper, a Sportstar Victory T Rex Hurricane chin strap. We removed the upper strap lock and put in a snap post so the boys can have buckles instead. I personally think this is a great option. You will see more and more of this, even though it's incredible already how many people on the NFL and NCAA level have removed their strap locks and are either just doing snaps or just going right through the actual strap. This way you set it once it's done and if you have to pop it off to clean it or something, you just snap it off and snap it back on. And on the back we have the Dolphins rear 3D bumper. We've removed the factory big white warning label and put on this clear one with teal. So these two boys are going to look fierce. And I gotta tell you, I think that they're gonna make a lot of the other kids envious. There's nothing wrong with that. So what I'm gonna do now is go back to the beginning and show you how to put these things together from the very first step. If you wanna build your own helmets at home, all you need is a couple of simple tools, a nice, soft, clean work surface, a little bit of patience, and a little bit of strength. Let's get into it. So should we start with the youth or the adult? The truth is they are so similar, it almost doesn't matter. I'm gonna go with what's on my right and get to building this adult helmet. So this is Mike's who is number 86, is moving up to 14U in his second season, and he's getting the large speed flex, and Mike plays safety. And yes, 14 years old in the football world is an adult helmet. We're gonna remove these upper strap locks because we are putting in snap posts so we can have orange buckles. The Palm City Dolphins have a logo, let's just say, very similar to another team called the Dolphins. And the orange buckles on the sides are just gonna match perfectly this little orange drop shadow of these 3D bumpers and their side logos, if they put them on there, it's just gonna look awesome. If you wanna convert your speed flex from strap locks to accept buckles, it is very, very easy to do. You just unscrew the strap lock. We sell these Sports Star snap posts. Screw that in its place. And now, once your chin strap's on there, boom, you got buckles. And then if you ever wanna switch it back, you just put it right back. So that's a nice little bonus had these Dolphins rear 3D bumpers dress up the back of this thing. And I've mentioned it in a bunch of videos, but if you're new to the channel, I always will work on the back of the helmet when the face mask is off because this makes a nice stable station for you to work on. We removed the big white factory warning label. And in place, we got these really cool teal ones. And this is something I'm kind of excited about. So. Green gridiron transfer decals. And these are awesome. In this case, I'm doing the black on black because this is a matte black helmet. 
them with that nice little pop gloss GG decal you barely notice. We have these One Florida decals. All right, so let's get this chin strap ready. So on the bottom of Sports Star chin straps, this is a Victory T-Rex Hurricane. If you look really closely, it will say reg for regular or large or whatever you get. That's a quick way to indicate the top from the bottom. And then all you do is slap these buckles on there. Now, Mike is gonna have to adjust this. It makes it significantly easier to pop off your chin strap. You know, things get funky in there and you gotta give it a little clean. You just pop them right off. Plus it's kind of unique. You see more and more players in the NFL and in college using them. So both Mike and Gage are getting this upgrade. They don't even know about it. Sorry guys, I hope you're okay with this. If not, don't worry, we're gonna give you the strap locks. You can put them right back in. All right, so cam locks fit right in there. This slides right in through here. And then we just take our thumb screw and we put this in place. That will hold that in there. This thing is coming along. Let's throw this GG front 3D bumper. So I kept the same color scheme, black bumper with the white green gridiron logo. Nothing against Riddell, but that's a whole lot cooler. All right, now face mask and visor combo. I am well aware that Mike will not be able to wear this in game, but I'm telling you, I don't care. Look at that setup. So we are giving this to Mike. We have one for Gage as a gift. And thank you for your business. We are also supplying them, of course, with their clear visors that they purchased. But when we saw these Shock Zero-G visor colors against these things, my goodness. So this Zooty Ball Hawk face mask, which by the way is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, keep in mind, it's not an official Riddell face mask, so it will still fit the youth and adult helmets, but things get a little wonky sometimes like this visor. This visor happens to fit really, really nicely, but I'm telling you, the Oakley Pro visor will not work with this. So just be careful. And if you ever have any questions about what fits what, and you need to uh, reach out to us in phone um, or email or leave a comment on this channel, we're happy to help you. All right, let's put this face mask on. All right, Mike, what do you think, buddy? That is pretty awesome. This matte black look is just getting so popular. I feel like the last, I don't know, five or six weeks, we've built like three or four of these, but I'm gonna tell you, this one wins so far, so good. Now we're gonna get the Gage's helmet, which is gonna look very, very similar. We have a little bit different. This is a Sapphire. This is a Northern Lights visor. Aside from that, they're the same. So let's throw Gage's helmet together right now. man let's see what we got mike gage congratulations i mean these are amazing 
Romaine's mom and dad helped get the boys these helmets. Unfortunately, uh, his mom passed away from COVID on August 6th, 2021. The helmets will help them remember their grandma and in some way allow her to protect them. So that's why Mike wears the 86 and Gage wears a 12 because he hits like a little 12 gauge shotgun. If you have suggestions on helmets that you want to see get built, I want to hear about them. And if you've shopped at greengridiron.com, it's because of you, this video is possible. So thank you so much. Thanks for your support on this channel. And until next time, cheers.